Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode it was a fairly chill one but we managed to get a lot of things sorted out, moved, fixed and improved overall. Specifically we got the laundry sorted and it was I think a, a combination of laundry baskets, the uniforms finally getting delivered and also setting... Yep, that's, uh, that's, that's Paul Corner again doing Paul Corner stuff, usually involving beating people over the head with batons. Either way, we managed to get yes, the, la the laundry sorted and, like I say, it was a combination of several things, laundry baskets, having the uniforms be delivered and probably getting another eight janitors, probably sort that out and also Featherstone. We also managed to get the gymnasium put in, which I think has also help things because it means that if they want to exercise they no longer have to go outside and get wet although it is now spring heading towards summer because well the no, not going backwards in time. So yeah, hopefully that will be okay. And <laughs> what we'll do is keep an eye on that one. In this episode, I want to continue on with construction. Specifically, I want to clone this yard down the bottom and then look at potentially trying out the automated farming. In fact, I'm I'm thinking more farming is the first thing we should do. Yes, I think I think it is because quite frankly, if we don't do it now, we won't see the benefits of it until basically towards uh, the end of the series. So, I'm just going to continue on building there. Uh, you may notice that the gymnasium now has a floor in which cost me 13 grand. I basically did that because the thumbnail looked better between last episode and this one. Just full disclosure and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Looking behind the curtain. Either way, we are doing okay. We are on day 84. That's 9 hours and 19 minutes. So it's probably going to be close to just over a 10 hour build for full completion. Although I still haven't got any flooring placed in here. But there you are. We also still cannot at this stage get any more bank loans. So that's a little bit of an issue. I'm just hoping that the advanced farming comes good with the compost. We are... Still collecting compost. It's still going up, but only slowly. Eventually, we'll, we'll we will get there though. And I guess if I if I do remove one, will it fix it? I have no idea. And we're also working on the overproduction, which gives us five grand advance payment, ten grand for full completion. And you can see we are over halfway there for most of it anyway. And then finally, reform through education initiative, which in the past was completely impossible because I think it was. Uh, 10 prisoners pass the uh, general education course at the moment it is now one so let's check out our programs general education course one is interested it is Clegg I believe yes Clegg is still there but they have a very low chance of succeeding because their mood is bad why is their mood bad I'm guessing because of the rain and the lack of prisoner uniforms hmm we shall see a lot of people have suggested actually well, one or two people have suggested, and a lot of it agreed, to put in a shower block around here. Uh, so if prisoners, like, get wet, they can have a warm shower. I don't know how much that would really affect things. It sounds like a good idea, but it means a bit of a redesign. So I'm I'm not going to do that, although I'll take the uh, suggestion on board, certainly. We are currently in sleep time. We're going to do a full shakedown across all 761 places. That's gone down from our, I think, 808. While we're doing that, we're also going to check out our intelligence and informants. And we can see we have another potential CI, but that's not going to happen. I'm not going to recruit that person and oh yeah i know we could escort them to solitary to interrogate them do i really want to do that even though it's staff only apparently it can work let me just try that out let's go for uh actually we don't have oh informants let's activate one informant and see what happens so i've activated benjamin let's have a uh, quick chat with a Mayor. A disaster at nearby prison has rendered a whole section of the facility unusable. We have no choice but to transfer the prisoners to your prison. Good. That's that's fun. We have incoming prisoners within the next 40 minutes. I'm going to go to intake and close our intake off. We are on 159 of 168. So we do have some space, but sadly the safety net that we had, which was the holding cell here is now being replaced by a gymnasium so let's see what happens on that front there's a death there from overdosing but we never never got the alert we just didn't see it 
and obviously we're trying to do what we can to stop contraband, but it still comes in predominantly. We can see that we've got produced drugs. Now yeah, they're producing drugs, but then we're finding the drugs. So it's just the one or two that get just get by. I mean, there's one there. Look, one, two. There's like one or two in each cell block, if that. The rest are being found. So I think we're doing a fairly good job at finding them. And we now have a total of 189 prisoners. And we can only store 168. And obviously we don't have any place to hold them. Brilliant. And there's a tunnel. Not a very large tunnel. And What on earth? We've had an escape? We've had an escape over here. How on earth has someone managed to escape? Everybody was inside the cells. Unless... Right, we've just found that it couldn't have been that person, surely. They couldn't have ran all the way up and across and down and out in that time. Or could they? That is very strange. I'm going to remove the tunnel. Go to normal speed and check out over here because there's... There should be two of them. Well, there's Pennock. Sean Pennock there. Stephen Pennock, sorry. Let's have a quick look. And I want to check room quality. No. There was a weight, yeah, cell status. Yeah, that tells whether it's occupied or not. But I don't know if I can tell who's in what cell. But it was unlikely to be in that person. Unless one of these has managed to escape somehow. <laughs> anyway, shakedown, currently underway. We have found not much clubs, medicine, three bottles of booze, cell phone, shears, some rope. Fountain pen, herbal plant, and produce drugs. Two of. And that's quite good considering the amount of contraband that can be made, made produced, whatever. And there's all the prisoner buses as well. Which are, as you can see, empty. We're just waiting for more stuff to be exported. There you go, there's all the buses going. But we're certainly producing enough food. He says, not checking. Prisoner meals. Yeah, it's all getting served up. We're going to stop that shakedown. Feed all prisoners was... Not very high there, actually. There is... Some food needs. Only in the medium. And one in the... Uh, uh, one or two in the high. Three. So, yeah, it's all served up. They just didn't really have time. I wonder if I just need more more cookers then in here. Do I need more cookers? I wouldn't have thought so. I'll put them in anyway, because we might as well hire a couple more cooks. Because we'll need to seriously get the food trays and such. And now contraband is at a very high level. Curious. And obviously we have now more prisoners that we can handle. I'm hoping that with the parole and the general leavers, after a couple of days, this will be sorted. But we shall have to see. Where is the main danger level? It's danger level's high. Hygiene need, exercise need, those all getting fulfilled. Clothing need is pretty much sorted now. So I guess it's just the recent, recent search. Okay, what I'm going to do then is have a look at our automated farming options. So over to our rooms and we'll check out. We've got fruit orchard, which I'm not going to do. We've got vegetable allotment, farming field, pantry and flower garden. We're going to go with the vegetable allotment and I'm going to place it in a bit of an uneven area. But there we go, that's our vegetable allotment. And we have lots of options for planting, but lots of options as well for our gathering and such. So we've got auto-gatherer, advanced auto-gatherer, 
auto harvester and auto scythe so the auto scythe it says activates every six hours harvesting all crops in area ten tiles in front blocked by walls and doors so you can see it's quite a big machine but we could put one either side like that and we'll get the exact right sort of area so one two three sadly won't go in there but the first three we could have those in that'll be the harvest is in a decent area similar to the gatherer uh, well the gatherer then gathers all of those materials but it has to be placed in such a way that it can obviously get those ingredients we'll have one there and one there that should be fine as well but that's quite an expensive build and the auto scythe as well activates every six hours to harvest all crops so you've got auto gatherer gather and store and that's gather and store so the difference in the basic and auto is basically cost and size the auto harvester and scythe is si similar but the scythe goes around whereas the harvester is in a in a in a line basically let's try it so we're going big or going home. There we go. And this top bit obviously is not done for auto-wise. So I've got that placed in. It does require a shed, so we'll do that. Scroll in. Find a shed. Shed will go in that corner there. And we will connect it up to the water. Just a small pipe. These will probably require electricity, most likely, but I'll see. Yeah, I can already see they require electricity because, well, <laughs> they are placing the stuff underneath for that. And that's a lot of money spent there, but it's going to be fun in find out exactly how it works. There's our shed, so we'll connect that up to the water pipe. For the electrical cables, we will do a similar thing. This will go up to there, up to there connect to that and then straight up and it's on the same grid because apparently this grid is really really good okay so what sort of vegetables do we want well i think we'll have two sets of vegetables i'm going to have what do we use the most of tomatoes potatoes probably some more carrots maybe carrots tomatoes and carrots are there cabbage potatoes and carrots so actually potatoes are the ones that i think potato and cabbage cabbage that's a weird hybrid cabbages and carrots right we've got two sets of carrots but only one set of cabbages and potatoes right that's what we're going to do so objects scroll down we also haven't, we haven't got to drain a uh, drip pipe actually Crop sprinkler. Uh, automate all crop irrigation to the two tiles adjacent with this dripper. You can only be placed in a straight line with horizontal vertical lines and it'll be connected. So I could just put some of these in as well. But can you place them underneath crops? No, you can't. So doing all this automation, you're losing a lot of space. We've already lost one, two, three, four. Uh, 8 and then 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32 plus change plus or minus errors that I've made in the calculation of farmable area. And that's without the drip pipe or the crop sprinkler. If we have to have the crop sprinkler, well, we're going to be. It'll be, well, 1, 2, 3. I mean, if we're automating it, well, let's do it properly, shall we? And then... Like that. Obviously, the ones up there won't be fully automated. But at least they'll be in. And then, small pipe will connect all that up. Still haven't got the seeds in yet, but I'll wait for the automation stuff to be, to be done. We can see that in free time, we have quite frankly a lot of people in the solitary 
And we've got loads of potential CIs. Recruit. Why can't I recruit that informant? Is there two people in there? Don't think so. Oh, they already are a confidential informant. My mistake. Potential CI. Potential CI. Potential CI. There you go. And I did turn on our informants here. Oh, their suspicion is really high as well. <laughs> um, I do want to activate them. I want to see if they work. It does say en route. Let's see if that actually works. Yes, they are being... Yes, they are actually being escorted. So, that's good. So, this person is active and... Oh, here we go. We can see that even though this is... Even though this is a staff only area, we will double check that. Yes, it is staff only. We can see that it works. It does indeed work. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of a lot of nonsense going on there. Loads of people being targeted. See all these because these are snitches or ex law enforcement. All right, but at least. At least we've not had any bother in that regard. Okay, over to utilities and to our small piping. And we're going to run pipes. Oh, so we have no problem. There's a death there. That's almost certainly... Yep. Sigmund Freud. Okay. Who's been fighting here? It is Adam Jones, who's overdosed. Looks like they were being escorted. So, yeah, just didn't work out for them. Right, well, I've placed all of the pipe work. Hopefully, that will be in range. And let's go ahead and. Do, do I want to automate this entire farm or do I place some stuff up here? I guess it wouldn't really matter. Oh, there we go. Don't know if you saw that. Yeah. So we've got these auto harvesters working. So we've got a, a tiller with the shear bar across it that automatically works its way across over these metal sprinklers, which hmm, seems <laughs> a bit dodgy, um, and then works. This one I have not yet connected. And why is that one not work? Look at that. No, it's, I think it's just not calculated. Eventually it'll get... Yeah, eventually it'll work. Cool. Okay, finally then, the last thing to do is to put crops in. It's going to be cabbages. And it's going to be... Potatoes, I think. Do you want potatoes? Cabbages. And potato plants. Yeah, let's have cabbages and potatoes. And hopefully... Oh, there's the sprinklers working. That's quite nice to look at. And it's watering all the non-crops that are there. But at least it, it's there. Oh, I... um. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. So I want a fertiliser. Oh, do I do want to put fertiliser there? I want not a compost bin. Even though we've already got a bit of an issue with compost let's put these potato seeds back in there we are um, I do still want to have uh, parity across the lot I also haven't placed any I haven't placed any compost there what's our auto compost auto fertilizer is compost fertilizer so I wonder if that's going to be done there's that guy shouting for alcohol volatile and I'm going to guess not just volatile. Lockdown sleep. That's his min. Yeah, he's only been here a little bit. One day in the prison. Okay. Well, we are running alcoholic scoop therapy, so we'll see how we fare there. 179 prisoners of a maximum of 168. So we still will have prisoners who are... I think most of them, because we've got so many in lockdown, they will actually have places in dormitories now. So we shall see there. All of this has been ordered to be planted, and we've got our auto-harvesting jobs on the go. So that should be hopefully 
a okay Lots of work being done in the laundry there. Lots of laundry baskets being brought in, brought out. Uh, uniforms being taken out, the laundry machine, iron there, and also more fighting going on. In looks to be the kitchen. And we've got one, two, three, three people unconscious. <laughs> yeah, that kicked off. I think because we've now got some now medium and high risk prisoners, the snitches may be in some danger. So we'll have to see. There is our... Can I run more parole hearing? I just thought... No, no I can't. I was going to say, there's our programs running. And general education qualification is active. And one person is heading towards it. It's going to be Clegg. But it takes them about an hour to get there. No, that's actually McGregor. Matthew McGregor there. He's going to be strong. He's called the Sock. That's what his mates call him. General education qualification, success chance, fairly poor. Shame. Shame. Don't know if we're going to ever get that one. 50 harvested cabbage on 84% and apples on 56%. So, oh, we've just done the cabbages as well. So basically, this overproduction is relatively easy for us to complete. So that's alright. Obviously means we can sell more fruit and veg. We also got some fighting over here as well. And that person we can see. This is Anton Crazy Eyes Bull. We've got this stinkiness coming off them. Search prisoner. Let's see what stinkiness they have on them. Do they have any listen substances? They have, yes. They have. Produce drugs. Type cocaine. Okay. So that's why they're smelly. Hmm. It's interesting. In terms of farmers, hire another couple more. We'll bring it bring our total up to twenty. Same for janitors. Gonna get another couple more. And another guard. And another dog handler. Obviously that's gonna decrease our intake, but it is worth it for keeping people safe. And you can see they're being auto they're being auto fertilized as well. I'm trying to see the auto gatherers. Will they just uh <laughs> will they just shrink down a little bit and then expand up a bit? I think they will the sprite just just alter in that size. Oh hang on. It'll just scale a little bit. There's a guard's been murdered by a prisoner. What prisoner? It's gonna be Paul, isn't it? Yeah, it's Paul. It's Paul. I don't know whether we need any more fridges in here. Don't think so. Let's check out our needs here for the prisoners. Most of it's alright. A lot of them have been unnecessarily searched recently. It's these checkpoints. And where are these guys going? They're probably going to go into the flower garden. Is all this set to access only? The whole thing is set to access only. Yeah. We'll do that. And I might as well put prison labour on this big farm. Even though it's automated, at least they can still plant. There you go. I wonder what other programs we can run. I'm going to reschedule all programs. We can do... Oh, look at that. Three people. Uh, doing this general education qualification. Which is good. Spiritual guidance is on the go. We could run it twice. I think it's fine for now. The solar panel development. Not really that bothered. I'm going to run workshop safety induction. Not going to run kitchen. Behavioural therapy we're not doing. And guard taser we've not got enough people to really work on that. Okay, so we'll set up people to work in the workshop. It may help. It may help. It is currently 6 degrees spring. I haven't really checked out our temperature, but everything seems fine, really. There's no real drama there. We have all of this now set up. If this works, then the auto farming is a lot easier to set up. I'm not too sure about its effectiveness. Let's do a shakedown. Sadly, I can't tell it to do, like, 
mid-sec only or whatever because, well, these are not set up for any type of sec. It's just the prisons that we've uh, brought in. You can see that apple trees, for some reason, have, well, they, they are now pretty much destroyed. And why is it? And why is there an apple tree there? See that the apple tree's moved. The apple tree has moved and changed that. Look at that. That's that grid is misaligned. Okay, that's a bug. That's a very big bug. That could destroy that tree. Maybe that's what's happened. And when that grows. Yeah, I'm going to have to dismantle that. I'm going to dismantle it. I don't know if dismantle will help, but whatever. Now I'm going to place them back in. There we go. And that one there as well, that peach tree. Dismantle. So get rid of all of those. And they automatically just <laughs> got destroyed as well. So we'll go back over here. We'll find an apple tree. And it's definitely placed there. Yep. We can see that is correct is placed in the correct area. It cannot fit in anywhere else. Peach tree, similar thing. One, two, and three. Let's see if those are planted in the right place. I like the way all of the Now that it's spring, all of the like roses have sprouted and everything else, and these they've all taken root, which is good. There's another death there, and that is Tom Gaskin, who is... Okay, is there a problem with this escape thing? It says there's an escape there. But... Unless I've missed it. I mean, I know Gaskin's there. But... Have they literally just walked out here and ran? But this is staff only. So they wouldn't have even been allowed into there. Let's just double check to make sure we've got... Yeah, Newell's there. Just stop this shakedown. Gaskin's over there. Corn is still about. So I don't know what that's... I don't know what that was... Uh, I don't know what that was all about. Anyway. We'll get another... Another farmer. There we are. Contraband is out of control, even though I've just searched. Brilliant. There's nothing I can really do, I don't think, other than just not have the buildings that produce contraband. I know there's a couple of bits as well here where we haven't placed all of the crops. I think we need more... F do we need more farmers? We may do. Oh, there's loads of bananas there. Those are going to get uh, shipped off, which is good. And those trees are now in the correct area. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. At least we are now trying to run the workshop safety induction. Danger level is high for some reason. Even though the needs are being met. It'll be the searching. And it's being searched when they go through this checkpoint. I would have thought that there'd be a, some sort of tag that if they go through this checkpoint, it's just understood that that's the standard procedure. So it's not classed as unnecessarily search because, well, you know it's coming. It's not as if you're being asleep and you can just hear all the lights, you know, all the clunk, clunk, clunk of the lights come on and then guards storming down, you know, tossing the cells and just, you know, doing it as a surprise. It's not a surprise. You know that you have to go through it um, because it just means that now these, these here, look at all the people going in there. There's however many people. Let's have a quick look. It says, 45 prisoners have been unnecessarily searched recently. Let's see what it says on the go through here. Does that go up? Actually, it doesn't. So maybe what I said is is in the game about that tag there. About being unnecessarily searched. It'd be nice if it was. Yeah, possibly. Possibly is that. Oh, there's an OD. Where's the overdose? Down here. Oh, it's a Featherstone as well. James Featherstone. It's got a guard response in there. Whoops. Turn off the guard response. 
So those are obviously going to pick up Featherstone. Or not. I think it's going to be this guard then. Yeah, store prisoner in medical bed. Oh, it's not Featherstone. It's Peter Lation. That's almost a rhyme. And they're obviously being brought over to the infirmary, which is quite a ways away. Over to quick build and to cloning then. And I want to... Oh, it looks like I've already got that set, so that's fine. And let us get some more yard uh, added. Another yard added, should I say? Not more yard added. Technically, it is more yard added. Yeah, yeah, there's a death. Peter... What? Why was Peter brought back to their cell? <sighs> Things are getting trying. I don't know why they were brought back to their cell. They were clearly about here when I last checked on them, but there you are. Um, oh, it's impossible to see, but these auto harvesters are auto harvested, and then the auto gatherer sucked in all of those potatoes, and now it has three, six, nine, but well, more. There's some there's potatoes in there. You can see this farmer is doing that. So over a large area, if you have like a super farm, this could be very very productive. The chief, recent high profile gang case implicate one of our minimum security prisoners as a high ranking gang leader. Wow, where have we seen that one before? That one, I'm guessing. Alex Dimmed. Prisoner number 10620592. Sentenced for indie video game piracy, three years. Not guilty, naturally. Uh, as if he's going to say it was. And perjury, five years. Extremely strong and green thumb. It's not him, then. I'm just going to have to wait. Oh, there we go. Tim, is that right? Tim! Tim Cleef. Criminal damage, nine years and five years. Legendary, extremely strong, tough, volatile, stalker, deadly, fearless, expert fighter. There you are. Okay, fine, fine. So, not much we can really do about that. How are we doing for compost, anyway? Still collecting. Just takes its time. <laughs> the banana grove we've got in this here. <laughs> All these banana trees. <laughs> Fair enough. And there's all that. All these cabbages getting planted. And once again, these random food trays just dumped and then we can't do much with them. They seem to appear around the checkpoints as well. <laughs> but I think we've sorted most of those. It's also kicking off in here. It looks like Sean Guilford, at minimum, is fighting. But there's a lot of people fighting, actually. This will be probably someone being targeted. Our guards are in there. I'll bring some more in. Three deaths. Oh, good grief. Four deaths. Well, this is the most violent we've ever seen it. There's uh, Brown there who's just eating. Totally unfair. And one guy's still fighting and now unconscious. There we go. Where's that dog off to? Oh, it's still fighting James Hare. Right. Let's see. Matt Kreiser. Murdered by prisoner. No reputation. Interesting. That is Simon Locke. Killed for being a snitch. That's a guard Riggs murdered by a prisoner. And I can't see the others. Oh, there's Matthew Wilder. So maybe it was a bit of a fight and then people running out with the... People running out with a set of keys. It's possible. We're going to sign a guard there then. At minimum. Look at that. Why is that not staff only? What? There we go. That's fine. And these weight benches are getting delivered as well. So we'll need to hire another couple of guards. And I'm going to hire another couple of dog handlers as well. And there we are. 
the energy level going up, mainly saying they have serious complaints and and unnecessarily searched recently, but we haven't searched them. Or we haven't done a shakedown for it some time. Hmm. Well, there's our automation for farming. It's in, and that's all I can say about it. Oh, hang on. So these cabbages are ripe, okay? Then these harvesters will eventually sweep over to harvest them. It doesn't tell me when. It just says eventually they will do it. Oh, there we go. So that's these ones on the right actuating. And then the auto-gatherer with its weird cartoonish um, intakes and lights flashing on the top. Reminds me of the vacuum cleaner from the Teletubbies. Whatever that thing was called. Uh, <laughs> it's going back, uh, going back a bit too far. Uh, how? What was it called? I want to say nom nom, but I don't think it is. Oh, hang on. Here we go. So there's the... Ah, oh, right. So as you can see, it's going along. Anything that is ripe, it is sorting out. It's it's picking up. And then the gatherer will gather all of that. And we have 39 cabbages in there. So yeah, even though we're missing out on... 1, 2, 3, 4... For a 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 areas. We're missing out on 20 tiles. I do think the auto harvesters and the gatherers, obviously they don't replant, but just that alone is probably worth it. Anyway, I think we will leave it there for now. That's been a bit more prison architect. We've tried a bit of the auto gathering and farming and stuff, automation wise. And we've got this cloned over here and obviously set some more programs going. So hopefully we will get some more reform. If we check out our prison grading, the current reoffending rate is 12%. Punishment, very low at 1. We haven't got any lockdown or anything like that. And we haven't got a really aggressive policy. But to be fair, we only have low risk prisoners. Reform is at 8, which I'm very happy about. Security is sort of neutral really at 1 and then health. To be honest, it's always minus. If you even have one bit of contraband, it just seems to be like that. I've not really been able to get it above, say, two, I don't think. Deaths in custody is 12, which is actually a surprise I thought would be more. Four prisoners have escaped. I've not actually seen any of them. Oh, sorry, we know of two of those going over the wall. But the other two, never saw. Staff fatality is 24. Ah, that's why the deaths in custody in that one is split up. And we've had 97 paroled early with a 5% reoffending rate. Overall, pretty happy with the design. Still concerned about the danger level, but I don't know what else we can really do. Because we haven't got any suppression. Yeah. It's not really been a problem, though, because of the prisoners that we've had. As in, we only wanted low-risk prisoners. However, oh, there's all that getting watered. Nice. I wonder if... Your class has been wet under there, so yeah, it really want to change your clothes. I don't know. But yeah, I think the main issue has been the three prisoners, I think, now that have, for whatever reason, uh, slipped under the net and were, now, uh, and were gang members. And obviously the huge intake that we had with medium and high-risk prisoners, which are now attacking the low-risk prisoners. So basically events is what I'm trying to get at. The events have really messed us over. Yes, we could have taken a bit more precautions with some solitary and, sorry, uh, protective custody, but I don't know. Would it have massively helped out? Maybe. Maybe not. Sitting enough for the high-risk ones, they were going to kick off and the legendary prisoners would kick off anywhere. Either way, we are going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. And next episode, we will probably finish off the facility. We only have a bit of flooring to do and the odd change here and there. And it's pretty much under control. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.